Hello everyone! Welcome to my channel! This is Mom Saibel Explains. This video is all about calculating the base. What do we mean by base? It is a number that represents 100% or the total value of something or the whole thing. It is always preceded by the word of in the given statement because it is being multiplied by the rate. Let's have the first question. 15 is 20% of what number? It is important that we have to identify the base rate and percentage in a given problem. For this case, this is our percentage, this is our rate, and this is our base. We'll be using the same formula, which is percentage over base is equal to rate over 100. This is the same formula that we use in finding the percentage which we have last time. Now, we will just substitute that's going to be 15 over n is equal to 20 over 100. Now, how to get the value of n is to do cross multiplication. That's going to be 15 times 100 divided by 20. 15 times 100 is 1500 or 1,500 divided by 20. We can cancel the two zeros and we will just divide 150 by 2 and we will get 75. Our n here is equal to 75. That would mean 15 is 20% of 75. And that is our final answer. We have the next question. 50% of what is 400? So let's identify our base, rate, and percentage. This is our rate because it has percent sign. This is our base because it is near to the word of, and this is our P or our percentage. We will use the same formula. That's going to be percentage over base equals rate over 100. Let us just substitute that's going to be 400 over n is equal to 50 over 100. How to find n? Just do cross multiplication and that will be 400 times 100 divided by 50. 400 times 100, that's 40,000 divided by 50. We can cancel the two zeros. What's left is 4,000 divided by 5, and we will get 800. Our n is equal to 800. It means 50% of 800 is equal to 400. Next question. We'll have here 40% of blank is 60. 40% is our rate. We are looking for the base. And 60 is our percentage. We'll be using the same formula. That's percentage over base is equal to rate over 100. Now, let's just substitute that 60 over N is equal to 40 over 100. How to find N? Just do cross multiplication. N is equal to 60 times 100 divided by 40. 60 times 100, that's 60,000 divided by 40. We can cancel the two zeros. What's left is 600 divided by 4. And that will give us 150. Our N is equal to 150. It means 40% of 150 is equal to 60. Our final answer is 150. Let's solve some problems involving base. Example, on the math test, Nate answered 85% of the questions correctly. How many questions are there on the test if he answered 51 questions correctly? It is important that we have to identify our given whether they are percentage, base, or rate. We are sure that our rate is equal to 85%. And our base is what we're looking for and what's left is our percentage because it is part of the whole which is the base. Now I'll we'll use the same formula that's percentage over base is equal to rate over 100. 
Now let's just substitute that's going to be 51 over n is equal to 85 over 100. How to find n? Just do cross multiplication. That's 51 times 100 divided by 85. 51 times 100, that's 5,100 divided by 85. Let's perform the division. That's 5,100 divided by 85 will give us 60. Our final answer is equal to 60. This means that there are 60 questions in that test. Let's have another question. Jared wants to earn money to support his studies. He was able to gain 3,500 pesos for selling some goods yesterday. This was 20% of the total money he earned for this week. How much money did he earn this week? Let us identify first our percentage, base, and rate. It is obvious that our rate is 20% and we are looking for our base which is the total money Jared earned for that week. And then we also have 3,500 as our percentage. And we'll be using the same formula, percentage over base equals rate over 100. How to get the value of base? We'll just first substitute 3,500 over n is equal to 20 over 100. How to find n? Just do cross multiplication. That's going to be 3,500 times 100 divided by 20. 3,500 times 100, that's 350,000 divided by 20. We can cancel two zeros. What's left there is 35,000 divided by 2. Let's divide 35,000 by 2. That will give us 17,500 pesos. That's the total amount Jared earned for selling some goods this week. Again, the total amount he earned was 17,500 pesos. Now, it is your turn to solve. Please write your answer in the comment section. The question is, 80 is 16% of what number? Again, 80 is 16% of what number? I'll be waiting for your answer. Thank you. Don't forget to hit the like button if you think this is helpful. Till next time!